Hi, Capricorn. Welcome. This is going to be your tarot reading for September 2024. We'll take a look at you, them, this, and that, and I'll pull it all together. So you're going to want to watch the entire reading. As with any tarot reading, this may not resonate for everyone, so we just listen for what resonates. Leave that rest behind if it don't fit, you know, and let's see what's coming in for Capricorn as a collective in September. The first cards will be the all over tone of the situation. Any significant placements or any significant energy uh, around you, uh, near you, maybe even affecting you. Significant, let's say specifically affecting you, right? Yeah. Come on in. Let's see what's up in September for Capricorn. My name is Lynn. Glad to have you here. Thank you for returning and thank you for uh, tapping in. This is a good time to tap that like button. Let's let's just let's just help each other out. As that is how YouTube works. We know that Capricorn going to be a good reading. Spirit is showing us another person. Now, because this is in reverse, I'm going to go right away and say, not necessarily. Is this someone under the age of 30? Not necessarily. A fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is not necessarily. Why do I keep hearing not necessarily? Let's just leave that there. Feel there is uh, someone around you. Could be just a couple zodiac signs away from you, in a sense. Maybe two or three. All right, put the energy where it fits. Let's 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 see what's Capricorn looking like in September of twenty-four. Oh, oh, oh! Security issue. Sound the alarm. Somebody got an issue at home? Very possibly in the home. Oh. But looking good on the home front. Things are not as secure as someone thinks. Collaboration. So, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. No bueno. We'll get to that. You know what's going on. Um... I do see collaboration. Three of Cups shows these feelings when we come together with the people that we are the closest. The closest to. The Tower in reverse. That's good. So you're rebuilding. It's about things in Capricorn's life. They're so big. Could even be Things that weren't your fault. Like, you know, this beyond your control. But positively moving, you're moving into, through the month, very positively. Yeah, a lot of sex. A lot of good vibrations and sensations which that is your card so I'll go ahead and say you know all is good in the hood with you let me know down below if that's not true and show us the other side please any significant energies affecting our Capricorns in September of 24 please I could read more into your cards, but again, I'll just leave. Not necessarily. So, uh, do you have someone else around you who is not necessarily getting to do the things that you are getting to do? The Four of Pentacles. 
Yeah, the have and the have-nots. So they be sitting there thinking a lot about their money, uh, the physicalities, the world. You know what I mean? Like, they ain't looking over at you so much. Look how confident. They appear to be more confident. Are they more confident than you? And that's pretty confident. Wow, this is good. Look how confident you confident. You know that, right? Mm. But they'd be super duper confident. Well, we talking about some signs apart. Yeah, three. Three signs apart. Well, I'm I hearing this. And astrologically, three signs apart is a square connection, which is, uh, it's very stubborn energy. They're dealing with some stubbornness. You're not. <laughs> you know, you've got a lot of things and just in the palm of your hand this month that someone over here is significantly affects your life. They... Sometimes they're dealing with stubborn, uh, clashing issues in their physical world. Give me one more on them before we get into the this and that. Let me see one more on this. It could be dealing with a earth sign, maybe dealing in with you, but... The Six of Wands, which is about desires um, to move forward and reconnect with, yeah, okay. So, they don't want to lose their position, but there's loss. They have these feelings of, compared to you, I'm a loser. Because I'm not getting all that, right? That's what they be looking at. They be like, look at themselves as, I'm lost. Let's just put it in a little bit, a little bit kinder terminology. I don't want to call your friend or somebody significant around you if it's a positive connection a loser. But, you know, I mean, like, that's what would be going on. Because you'd be like, you know, shit ain't right at home. Somebody's pennies ain't right. And you know it. And they know it. And they just try to, like, hold on to what little few that they do have, you see, compared to what's really going on and you got you know in a plentitude of connections and friends and fun moments in the sun rebuilding because the tower was in reverse and you know you're going through these major life events where you're not having any problems making connections and whatnot and they over here lonely feeling lost uh, they're very pessimistic, and they're looking at it like that. You know, they're actually can somewhat comparing themselves, I feel like, but yet they're fearless. They're fired up. They're the six of wands. They're going through something with someone else, if not you. Where they're bumping heads. Let's just leave that at that. And let's get some this and that. Past, present, and future. So we can get something maybe that's resonating. Then I'll take another look at you. Another look at them. And pull it all together. Could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Or someone with significant fire placement. Characteristic, but again, not necessarily. Hmm. Not necessarily. They are 
this card speaks of protecting their own interests. Energies next to you are protecting their own interests. They don't particularly think that things are going very well in some arena. So in the recent past. Oh, Lord. This is a good time for you to tap that like button. If you want your energy to be felt. Help out my channel, the Queen of Cups in Reverse. Okay. We are not necessarily talking about someone who doesn't care. There's a woman, doesn't have to be, could be a woman over the age of 30. And uh, pretty selfish. Who currently got some fire energy. Two queens come up side by side. It is a sisterhood, a brotherhood, a tight ass connection. So y'all got a tight ass connection. This person does not have a tight ass connection with someone else because they're dealing with someone else who is not giving in to those feelings. Or the two of you, this is what you are dealing with. They are dealing with depending. A lot of different angles on this, y'all. But currently now we have, this could be them in the past. Same, one and the same. That's how tight that connection is. Same fucking person who in the past did not succumb to those feelings. Who is now more like the Queen of Wands. Getting up in that. Having the courage and the confidence, whereas in the past they did not, very plausible, very likely there as well. What could happen in a situation like this in September 2024 for our Capricorn Collective, please? Whoa. Always a warning, though, to, you know, pay attention other people's feelings and the passions and the drives that we have right now. This could be you. This could be someone in connection we have. The square connection where people were betting heads. Right? Okay. And I'm a non-shuffling bitch, so I apologize there. <laughs> I dropped the camera on Virgo's reading, so if I don't do that today for you guys, we'll be good. Checky, checky, looky, looky, Capricorn A. Looking good. You are going to turn your money game around in September. Yep, you're doing well there. Becoming more secure and abundant. And your collaboration with friends, drinks, merriment. Good life. Only going to get better. This rebuild that you're on only going to get better. We really want to get to this other energy, I know. But when we have such a spectacular month, how can I not show you? And you know that's where you're at as well. So if you do have someone near and dear to you, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, anybody under the sun at this point on age. Again, I feel like they're butting their own head up against a wall. You see that. Um, dealing with women and people in the past who did not, you know, we didn't feel that way. Maybe it's even you, you know, you didn't, you didn't scum those feelings. Now you have a very extravagant social life. That's even better. That's a happening. Uh, they be very pessimistic, lost compared to you. Absolutely. But together in a connection, we all under the sun going to be in the wheel of fortune. 
Good times, good times. Looking good. Wheel of Fortune is about movement. It's like the hourglass in the sands of time. And these are the days of our lives. It is going to be like a soap opera. Come coming out of this. Uh, again, let's see you. What is Capricorn going to be looking more like? And then we'll take a look at them. Pull it all together. If you want to become a sub, please join me. Tap subscribe. Raw. Look at that. Look at that. That is just strange. Okay. What are the cards trying to say here? That I don't know how to shuffle or... <laughs> No, I have full faith in spirit, and I do see us somebody letting their guard down, things becoming perfectly placed. Um, somebody who lives in fear. You, you know, they, it's not you. It's almost like a, a one, two, three, third party over. Show me Capricorn in September. There we go. Nice. The high priestess. You can't argue with that. Again, with the Will of Fortune, doesn't get any better, but... I'm glad you guys collectively are having a good month. If you're not, let me know down below. Maybe we could do a reading about it, you know? The High Priestess. Major events. Major Arcana. Right? You are coming across to me as a trusted one. You are being trusted upon a lot this month. Uh, you're very chosen, maybe a chosen uh, for a responsibility. So more responsibility, uh, again, with the more that we have in abundance, naturally that does come with more responsibility. But there's something that you know. That's the key, I think. This person be looking at you like, what do, you know, what's your secret? <laughs> what is your secret, Capricorn? How can I, you know, because I mean, like, they're they looking for something. Unfortunately, they're being too pessimistic. What's their side? That's you, High Priestess, all-knowing. High Priestess, all-knowing Capricorns. In their element, 100%. Got the Wheel of Fortune. Show me this other significant person. I mean, if you're dealing with, y'all are going to be dealing with, okay, so you got water signs or significant placement. So that is going to be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Queens, Queen of Cups came up in reverse, very selfish in the recent past. Now, going to be in the sun, extravagant, courage, confidence. What's coming in? It's going to generate that confidence coming out of you, coming out of them. There we go. Currently, what they got? They went from being lost to nothing because, you know, damn. The Empress in reverse. Uh, they leaning on every word that you say. Everything that you do because they want to learn even if they're older than you, Capricorn. That's your mama. That's your papa. That's same, same. We cut of the same cloth. King and the queen. I thought that was the knight. Why did I go with that? Doesn't matter. Spirit knows, message be told, you know. So, yeah, absolutely. When things aren't working, you know. And somebody, lovers in reverse, oh no. See, they're not getting all of that, right? They still may not. I need to clarify that. Why? Why? Rut row, trouble in paradise. But I don't think that's yours because they're the one over there with all those coins. And then they drop down to a level three vibration in reverse. I'm going to go with like a 3.5. <laughs> it's 
going like a little 0.5. Ah, right, right. So depending on how they approach other folks, you know. Maybe like somebody really just needs to slow their roll. Or what they pursue, you know, it's like their pendulum effect is off. They're in their element. You're in your element. This other energy is not. Because they're throwing things out into the universe at the wrong pace, the wrong way, to put it in a nutshell. So you see the actions that they're doing, the things that they're taking. You know, for some of them, it's taken too long. It has taken someone way too fucking long some love and things that they've been working at. Because the three of pentacles did come up in reverse. This is supposed to be in the month to come. So I hate to say it. But it's not working. Why? Because of the eight of wands in reverse. Maybe because we've got a lot of too many people involved. You know, two is company and three is a crowd. But Capricorn's all about crowd. And in this other world of connections for someone that you care about, not necessarily. So true. Not necessarily so true. Hmm. I mean, if you've got someone that is in the circle of friends and family here who and maybe you don't even know, you know, you don't know their birth chart, right? Okay, so just, just go with it, okay? Astrologically, they are two signs apart. Is a sextile, but again, that Queen of Cups came up in reverse, We have square, we have two is sextile, friends with benefits, how to keep the sparks going when it's fizzled out, romance and friends in the recent past for them is really fucked up. And you know it and they know it because you're involved in vicariously, they are involved because they are learning from you, you, you from them. And this is kind of like just what we've been doing. So we do need to understand that, that somehow that's not working. And I think with the 3-3, three, three, it is. There's somebody who, uh, let's just say, it doesn't matter if two's company, three's a crowd, as much as it does the eight of wands in reverse. So let's all be adults here. King of wands, queen of wands. And um, be like five signs part. So the five, they are five signs apart from you. This is a quincux. This is exploring sex, diving in deeper, intimacy, soulmate, and learning our differences. Yeah. Wow. Huh? They're learning about all of that and that how different there is something that needs to be done different. And they're going to have to learn. This is their hard knocks you know, school of hard knocks for this connection is, is different. It ain't like Capricorn's life. What they're trying to draw in, they're going about it the wrong way. I need one more card to see what's coming in. King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. All right. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, namely Capricorn, same, same, same sign, conjunction. This is someone who y'all are learning what each other is like and what it's like to live with. We it is is someone that you live with. Be a man, could be someone over the age of 30. Doesn't have to be. And again, we said in the beginning, intuitively, no matter what the cards, whether I was right or wrong, the message is never wrong, is not necessarily. This is not necessarily supposed to be exactly like your life. And this is what someone is going to learn in September. These are the energies that are going to be around you. The Eight of Wands speaks of abandonment. So you could feel abandoned when this person goes out and applies some things because they're ready, very passionate, ready to go out and get, you know, now somebody around them is let their guard down and is ready to go off and have some extravagant time with your friend or family member or not. If it doesn't, if that doesn't happen, it's because the reason that they can't do anything or get anything like you can get it is because um, they're making the wrong moves. I can't express that enough. And then as we see what's going to unfold, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So rich, so pretty. The best piece of ass in the whole damn city. And that is Mickey Avalon. I quoted, he's a musician. I hear that. So, uh, whatever, however that resonates. Financially stubborn, tight wad. Again, just trying to protect his investments. And 